Hello, I'm here again. Hey guys, uh, today I was here just like kind of boring and I start to say, well, what should I do today? So I just was looking around and I found a few of more of those uh, T-Max 1000 that I have around here. And I start to think, what to do with those things right now? I have like a seven or eight of those around here. So I grabbed two of those and start to play around to see what's going on and what to do and I just figured out that the RF output it's horrible so I just open up uh, one of those start to play around a little bit I did some digs online about the signal I did some mods by myself but the picture wasn't, wasn't that great so I ended doing one that I found online from a Brazilian uh, guy, uh, Victor Truco, and uh, seems to be working pretty good. So let's stop to talking and let's start the fun. Okay, as a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys know, that's the little thing, that's the T-Max one. It's a ZX81 compatible machine and has a massive 2 kilobytes of memory. Yes. And on here I do have a 16 kilobytes memory expansion that, wow, put the TMX1000 with 16 kilobytes of memory. That's awesome. All right. So, uh, on here, uh, like I said, has a RF connector, uh, audio in, audio out, and the 90 volts AC adapter. On the back here, what I just did is the mode, where now they can output composite video. That is a lot better. So, let's just start here and just plug first on the RF output and see how it looks like. Sorry guys, my bench is a big mess today, but everything for the fun, you know? So, just get, put on TV, and plug it in. As you guys can see, they are not all output, outputting so good. We are on RF, I really hate it. All of Trio that I tested, they came up like this. As you can see, a lot of uh, interference on it. So, that's why I just did that mod. So, let's just unplug it from the RF and connect the AV. Change the TV to AV and just fire up again. a little bit and there you are crystal clear picture on it and seems to be working pretty good so since I don't want to spend time right now looking my cassettes and stuff like that I just I will be gonna be using my laptop has an audio output and I'm using the OTLA 2.2 where I can just get the games on it and play it in audio format. Okay, so let's connect the other end of the cable on the computer. And here I do have already a game, Alien. Let's just rock and roll, guys. So, load. And hit enter so as I hit enter the whole screen probably gonna flick it out and go goes out and I hit play on the file and as soon as they finish it up they just came back and we are ready for action beginners 
And here we go, Space Invaders! Oh, sorry, Alien. <laughs> and that little guy, they don't, ha they have uh, only video output, has no audio, and is a monochrome monitor. So let's just stop that game and just get something else here. To see, oh, by the way, that is a 16k game that Space Invaders right here. So, just get another game and see how they look like. Uh, oh, damn it! Hey guys, look what I found here, Body Star Galactica. And hit open. It's fucking awesome. So uh, the computer has no power switch or anything or reset, so we have to unplug the power and plug it back again. And again, load. Holy cannoli, let's go! Enter and let's play Barstar Galactica! Oh. Hey guys, that's unbelievable! Awesome! Oh, something came wrong here. I don't know why, but the game just get all crazy. Let's restart it. I want to see that game. I'm typing with one hand and trying to load the game with another one. It's a little, a little bit harder sometimes. So let's load in again. Aha! Uh -huh. Level 1. Holy cannoli! And there we are! Oh! That's nice! So, but anyway, I don't want to be here playing because the video gets, gets so long. So, that's... Again, is the little guy. I just did the video mode on it, and they came so great. And again, thank you, Victor Truco, for the info on your website. And until the next one, guys, and let's rock and roll. Bye.